It's time to talk tech now, and today we're focusing on smart home gadgets with a modern touch. That's Jessica Nazari with TechSesh.co is here to show us, and I'm so curious as to why Ruta Bay is holding yes. some <laughs> science, science gear. Yes. Yes. Experiment. Experiment. So this is really exciting. Some smart home for your smart tech gadgets for your home. So this is the Neoplants NX um, PX, and it's the first ever bioengineered air purifier. So the way that it works is you pour some water into here, you put in these air drops that have mm -hmm. micro biomes and help the plant live longer but also help with air purification oh, as well so cool. it's, it's made by scientists and engineers it looks good it's so pretty and I love that you only have to water it every two to three weeks do you really? do it like is it the container or so can you do it in really any plant so you use what? it in this they send you the plant as well as the stand and I'm gonna turn it around so everyone can see oh, so right over here okay. you put in the water and then, oh, cool. it, it, and then that's where the water reservoir is. And then over here is where you put in the plant food. Um, and it's really cool because it recycles and captures harm, uh, harmful VOCs. Oh, wow. So other air purifiers don't necessarily capture benzene. So that's what's very different about this. I feel this. like it's finally a plant U I can't kill. Utilizing oh, a plant. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, right. And it looks good. And the fact that you know other air purifiers don't do so good in terms of like some of the harmful chemicals in your home, sure. mm -hmm. this really makes it easy. Okay, awesome. I really yeah. want to know about this because you okay. said it's a smart coffee so table. So this is a smart wow. coffee table. Take a look at this over Fancy. here. I'm gonna bring you to my home, have you sit on my couch, and then I'm gonna offer you water from the fridge oh, inside. You're yeah. kidding. So, yeah, you can put that down Thank if you want. You. So this has a fridge, it has some here. drawers over here. This has tempered glass. You can charge your phone. You wow. can put on some music because in the back, it's there's a, a speaker. Stereo. There's a stereo speaker right here. That's amazing. So it's really cool because how many times have you had people over, they're like, hey, can you please bring me this? And yes. bring me that. So you have everything here. You can charge your phone on here. You don't even need coasters because of the tempered glass. Oh, so it's that's like my party point. trick. Yeah. They said I could keep this, so now I have to figure out how to take it home because this is my new like, exciting <laughs> thing. Um, how um, much does something like this so run? So this is not cheap, but I will tell you it's worth it. It's $1,299. Okay. But if you think about it, any other you know coffee table in your home would be so the same price, but it wouldn't charge your phone. It wouldn't have yeah. a stereo. Have a refrigerator. Have all these stereo options. So I'm a really, really big fan. You can turn it on and off with just a little press. And it has so many different functionalities, like even a clock. And oh. it gets rid of clutter, too. Yes. Like having it all in yeah, one I place feel like, like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a sleek look. Before the guests come to your home, you just stick everything in there, right? <laughs> perfect. <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> right. Now, back to something else that's really important when it comes to the smart home. I would say making sure your electricity is on or off. So an oh. entryway to the smart home category is smart plugs. So these are the Eve smart plugs. How many times have we been there where we left our curling iron or our irons oh, on yeah, at home all the time. and you don't know if it's on or off? Yeah. So you can actually turn it off with the app. Oh, oh. Cool. And it tells you how much bad, how much electricity you're using as well. So I'm really a big fan of that because I've been out before where I'm like, oh my God, did I leave this on? Did oh, I yeah. leave that on? I think on? everyone does. Like yeah. OCD too. Yeah, exactly. like, just to double check and make sure. So so, so this makes it really easy. And like, you know, whenever someone thinks about the smart home, they're really scared. How long is it gonna take? What do I need to do? What do I, what needs to be set up? This is very easy. It just comes with an app and you don't need to do anything else. You're done. Now onto smart lights, another really great way to get into the smart home. These are lights, but also LED speakers. Yes. So oh. I was just setting oh, it up right now. <laughs> the Wi-Fi <laughs> is not working, but this is great. Did you hear the little yeah, sound? Yeah. So you can listen to music on here as well. I love that. And so that's fun. And then also we have these lights right here that can be automated and change color so you can pick red blue we, do, we do that yeah. at our house and, and it sets like, the mood yeah well it's one of those fun things too that you know my stepson can be like hey let's turn the house red yes. and then everything's red and, and so people usually think okay I'm gonna make my home smart but it takes too much time I don't know where to start so first thing easy. I would say start with lights and then smart plugs and then we'll work our way up yeah, okay we have a good coach it can be overwhelming <laughs> thank you Jessica of course as always and for more information you can find out all about these gadgets by going to kcalnews.com and clicking Scene on TV. And Jessica's blog is at techsesh.co.